Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the 7 Artisans 25mm 1.8 manual prime lens for micro four thirds body cameras. This is a fairly inexpensive lens that you're able to pick up at places like amazon.com, AliExpress. Um, I was able to get mine from Amazon for $69.99, so that's a pretty good price. One thing that I was kind of concerned about was to see how well it performs. Now, I did try the 25 millimeter CCTV lens for the micro four thirds body, and I did have some issues. I mean, there were issues around the edges of the image where there's some vignetting around uh, going on. When it comes to the uh, the fastest stop on the on that little tiny lens you'll notice like this kind of like weird swirl effect on the outer outer edges of the um, of the image that's for when you shoot video and when you shoot uh, when you take pictures so I was kind of like thinking well will this one perform the same it's 25 millimeters it's um, a fairly inexpensive lens uh, so I you know said just give it a shot uh, so far from some of the reviews they were they were pretty well uh, pretty good review so I said let me go and give it a shot I was able to do an unboxing video on the last video that you guys saw on this channel and on this one we're gonna be taking a look at some sample video footage as well as some pictures to give you a rundown on this lens it does have seven elements in five groups for the aperture you're able to go from 1.8 to 16 and when it comes to the focus you're able to go from infinity focus down to 0.6 inches uh, so that's, that's pretty awesome so you're able to get pretty close in there about I would say like this much that's not bad for this type of lens. It is made out of metal, so it's pretty durable. It's got some good weight to it. There is no adapter needed to put this onto the body of your camera, so that's pretty awesome. And it's pretty easy to mount. You just go ahead and put it on, it's twist, snap. You're pretty much good to go. The aperture ring is smooth. It does not click, so that is a huge plus in my opinion. When it comes to the diaphragm blades, there are 12 in this thing, so you're able to get that nice circular bokeh when it comes to that blurriness, that out of focus, that nice soft focus in the background. Um, it'll be nice and smooth. It won't be uh, like harsh with like only six sides or eight sides or 10 sides. It'll be nice and circular. When it comes to how long this lens is, it's pretty short. Um, I don't want to call it a pancake lens, because it sticks out just a bit further out, but it doesn't stick out too far to where you gotta worry about you know having this lens bang against something if you're not being careful. When it comes to shooting outdoors at the fastest stop with this lens, the one thing you wanna consider, which I would highly recommend, I mean, I I can't stress it enough, you, you gotta get this. Um, it's, well, first, I did not have a filter the size for this lens, which is 40, 46 uh, millimeters in diameter. I have so I did have a step up ring which goes from 46 to 58, and I do have a 58 millimeter ND filter. And this is one of those adjustable ones, so you're able to just go ahead and screw this on to the front, and this goes to the front of the actual lens itself, like so. And with this, if you're at the fastest stop shooting outdoors and it's super bright outside, like like noontime, for example, uh, you're able to go ahead and adjust your uh, your ND filter, make it a bit darker, kind of even out your shot so that way it's not overblown, it's not overexposed. For pictures, you should be okay. I mean, it'll be a faster shutter, so you won't be able to get any sort of uh, motion blur or anything like that. Um, but in case you do want motion blur in your images or you want to shoot video with, with this thing, I would recommend an ND filter. That way it'll kind of like put sunglasses on your camera, your lens, and, and kind of like balance out your shots. So that's one thing that you that you would, that I would recommend you do when you take this outside. Indoors, you're okay. Normal lighting in the office, you should be okay. But if it's super bright outside, ND filter. Now we're gonna take a look at some sample footage with this lens on the Panasonic G85. Uh, first, I'll show you some pictures that I've taken. For most of the pictures and the video samples, I am shooting at 1.8. There are a couple of shots that are at 16, and you'll you'll notice that because uh, of the sharpness, it will it will change in terms of pretty much everything in, in the shot or the scene being in focus rather than just certain parts of it, like the foreground or the background. I do recommend this lens. I mean, so far I haven't had any problems. It's working pretty well, it's pretty durable, uh, pretty sharp, and pretty inexpensive. I mean, for $69.99, I think it's a pretty good buy. Um, I'll leave some more information in the description of where I got mine from Amazon, and uh, I'll, I'll just continue shooting with this thing, taking more pictures, taking more video, and I'll, I'll try to upload those onto the channel so that we can go and take a look at it. But I do want to thank you for watching, take care, and stay tuned for the sample footage and the sample pictures.